Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, mm. This is what I've been craving. This magic. Oh, I've missed it greatly. It's been so long since you called upon me, my dear master. Oh, no, I don't mind in the least. You could hardly bother me if you tried. You're the only one who's managed to claim me as a bond. So it's not as if I'm busy with other sorcerers. If anything, I've had fewer challenges to bind me than ever before. With you having staked a claim on me, no other sorcerer would dare try to undergo taking me as theirs. They all fear you wouldn't like having your demon bound with another person. And they know that they would be the one to lose should you challenge them. You have quite the sphere of influence in your realm, you know. You're right, of course. I've seen a scarce few that had the strength to face me in battle. And of those few, you were the only one to bring me to my knees. If anyone else were to challenge me to take me as their bound, they would find themselves in more pain than their mortal soul could handle. You've been the only one who's been spared such a wicked fate. And I can't deny I'm thankful for that. While it's true that if I'd ended up defeating you, I would have killed you, or damned you to an even worse fate. It's true that if that had been the fate of our relationship, I would have remained unbound. But I found myself, uh, content with our bond. I dare say I'm even pleased to share such a relationship with you. Of course, you are the only one I've ever called my master, and the only one I ever will. No one else is worthy of being called as such, and I would never sully any title I've given you by using it on someone who doesn't deserve it. <laughs> I'm pleased to hear that you're glad to have me as your bound. But I must ask, you just called me your first bound. Is, is there another besides myself? Have you taken another demon as yours? Planning to? You mean you seek to bind yourself with a demon besides me? Master... I can't say I quite understand. Why do you need another bound? Is this some sort of power play between you and another sorcerer? Do they assume you were only strong enough to overpower a single demon, forcing you to prove your skill? If that is the case, then there is no need to go through so much trouble. You could simply order me to tear my claws through their throat or rend their head from their body. Any method you wish for their demise, I could execute to perfection. All I need is your order, and it shall be done. You want... a weaker demon? Someone less powerful than myself? Why? Why do you need a new bound? You have me. Why would you need another? Let alone one that's weaker. For lesser tasks? You want a weaker demon for smaller tasks? Ones that are beneath my level of strength and power? Because you think there are certain tasks that would be a waste of my effort? Oh, as I've said, I'm always willing to help you with anything you need. 
I would never consider myself to be wasting my skill if it's to aid you. You... You wish to not have to summon me so often. Master, you... You say that you've been unsuccessful in summoning demons besides myself. Do you know why that is? Because it certainly isn't a lack of skill on your part. It's because I've made it very clear. I'm the only one who's allowed to answer your summons. Those other demons, weaker demons, they're not yours. You've staked no claim to them. They can't serve you as well as I can. So what point would there be for them to answer your call? I am your bound, and you should be able to summon me for anything you may need. I am the only one who you have taken as yours. I am your demon. You only should ever need me. I can satisfy everything you want, anything that you could ever desire. You say that you wish to have less need to summon me. If that's the case, then finish it. Finish our binding. You heard me. If you truly don't want to summon me so often, complete the ritual so I may enter and leave this realm as I please. You'd hardly need to do more than speak my name and I would be at your side within moments. There would be no more energy lost than in that used to utter my name. You'd use no more of your magic besides what we use today for the completion of the ritual. What? Do you have an objection toward that idea? Do you not want to be truly bound to me? Yes. I remember what we said. But circumstances have changed. While we may not have wanted to be permanently tied together in the past, I've changed my views. I think it would be beneficial for both of us. We should complete the bond. What has changed? You want to know what has changed? <laughs> what has changed is you. You have staked your claim on me, and I am pleased by that. Because it also means I have a claim to you as well. I have realized that I want you, and I don't want anyone else, human, demon, or otherwise. No one can be between us. I don't want you to rely on someone else when I'm more than willing to help you. I don't want you to think of someone else when you should be thinking of me. Don't you think of me? Yes, I know you do. But do you think of me like I think of you? In what way? Oh, in many ways. Hells, but there are so many ways I think of you. Fondly, proudly, sweetly, drunk with adoration, enthralled by your every movement, with more of my head than my heart, with a blatant admiration where I should feel hatred, with hands that ache to hold you, and a tongue that savors the taste of your name with skin that would break open and bleed should you wish it, with a soul that wishes to be eternally connected with yours, with love. I think of you with an amount of love that makes me ache and hurt and burn, and I love every thrice damned bit of it. To love you, it feels surreal. It feels like an impossibility that I should have been so easily trapped. There's no chains, no sigils, no blood. 
I was simply beaten. And now I wish for no escape. I only wish to be closer to you. To be bound tighter to you. I wish to love you in the ways I was never meant to. In the ways I had never thought I could. But I do. And I never wish to stop. I just want... Oh. I wish that you would think of me in the same ways I think of you. Even if only a few of them. Do you know me to be the type to waste my breath on lies? I meant every word. Love is not a word I use lightly. Hells, it's hardly a word I use at all. But when I say that I love you, master, I mean it. I mean that I love you. Similar thoughts? What do you mean? Well, I assumed as much. But in what ways are they similar? Truly? You do? You have such thoughts of me? Huh? <gasps> You've really thought about it? About completing our bond? You want to? You mean that? Of course. It's as I said. I crave to complete our binding. Are you... You want to finish the ritual? Right now? Yes, yes, of course I would. Please, Master, allow me to complete our bond. Come closer so that we may exchange our blood. Hmm. I had not considered it. I simply figured we would do it in the traditional style, cutting a simple line in our palms pressing our hands together. Do you have another method you would prefer? My claws? Ah, yes. I suppose they will work in place of a knife. Hmm? What are you doing? You should be careful where you guide my hand. I... Master, your lip. You're bleeding. You want me to do the same? Oh, I see. I take it you plan to kiss me in order to seal our bond. Hmm? <laughs> oh, hells, but your mind is something I love dearly. I shall be glad to go along with your plan. There. Will that be sufficient? I'm glad. Now, this may not be the way I plan to ask you this question, but... Master? May I please kiss you? Ah, it's been done. Our bond is complete. <laughs> oh, I'm yours now. Holy and truly yours. Yes, you're mine as well. It's a wondrous feeling, isn't it? Well, I feel as though a celebration is in order. Would you kiss me again? I'm afraid only one is not enough to sate my hunger for you. Oh? 
Your cravings haven't been fulfilled either. Well, that must be remedied immediately. <laughs> mm. Of course, Master. I doubt I'd ever reject a kiss from you. Please, kiss me to your heart's content. I'm happy to return each and every one. <laughs>